Breaking no contact. One of the most common mistakes people make while healing is reaching out to an ex. I can totally understand why you feel the way that you do and why you've reached out to them. I've definitely been in that situation a few times myself, so I completely understand how you're feeling. But if you've reached out to an ex, do not beat yourself up about it. Here are six things that will prevent you from making the same mistake and breaking no contact. One, blocking your ex if necessary. Now I know it's hard to go no contact with someone you have kids with or maybe even have a business with. In that case, you should go minimal contact and only reach out to your ex if it's about business or your children. But if you don't share a business or anything that ties you to this person, it's best for you to cut them off completely and block them. Two, refocus your energy. At this particular stage, it's very important for you to start pouring into yourself and refocus your energy back into you. Any time that you feel tempted to reach out to the person, unblock them or whatever you feel like you want to do, this is the perfect time for you to go back into yourself and do something that develops you. 3. Reaffirm your commitment to no contact. The best thing you could do is write down why you're no longer going to contact this person. When you write things down, you have a clearer understanding to why this person isn't good for you and the reason why you shouldn't be in contact. 4. Get support. So whether you get support through me or through a friend or family member, it's important that you have someone to talk to through these challenging times. One of the worst things you could do is keep the way you're feeling to yourself. It's important that you express how you're feeling to someone that you trust. 5. Identify what triggered you to break in no contact. This will give you a clearer understanding to why you reached out to your ex. Once you identify the trigger, then you're less likely to do it again, especially if it's written down. 6. Remember to be kind to yourself. I know at this particular point, you might be a bit frustrated in yourself because you've contacted your ex, but do not beat yourself up about it. In all honesty, you'll probably end up making the mistakes a few times before you learn how to cope with how you're feeling and move on from the situation. For relationship and mental health coaching, click the link in my bio.